and just going through this these past couple months of like every week something happening it's like it really makes me understand how people like tim pool and steven crowder and dave rubin and all these fucking goons on the right that are just vile freaks that you know i despise on many levels uh, I understand how they exist and why people, why so many people watch them. It's because they get tired of being called racist and homophobic. And uh, they say, you know, screw this. I'm going to go hang out with these fucking guys. And it, it does radicalize them because once you, you roll in that crew, it's hard to get out, right? It's hard to get out. I'm well, not. I, I think that those people were always spineless. And that's, you know. But the audience, there's, there, there is like a certain thing, like, it'd be so easy for me now to be like, go on Tim Pool or whatever, because they always invite me on now whenever this shit happens. But like Ben Shapiro used to always try to get me to come on a show every time I got canceled and then talk about how woke culture is the fucking, uh, you know, ruining yeah. society. I never did. I always said, fuck you, you little bitch ass <laughs> weasel, because he's a piece of shit. And I'm never going to I'm never going to go that route. Right. Yeah, and no. But it'd be so easy to go there and be like, you know what, blah blah blah, woke culture, this and that, and then the fa you get new fans, you get a lot of new fans, and then all of a sudden, you know, you got to start catering to them, and you get sucked in, and once you go against them, because they're they're just as bad as like the ultra woke, they have these the dogma that you don't fucking cross too. Well, you're right, and then you wind up like Dave Rubin, where exactly. Ben Shapiro is telling you to your face that he thinks you're evil for being a gay man and that he would never come to your wedding. And exactly. <laughs> you end and you, up like and Dave just Rubin. Nod, and you nod along and be like, okay, well, I accept that. I understand. <laughs> you end up Dave Rubin. Yeah. Totally. And I could have, there was a path where that could have taken me down to Tim Pool, Dave Rubin. Sure. Uh, but, but I chose not to, and I never will. I never will, because I know in my heart that those guys are fucking reactionary pieces of shit and I hate everything they stand for. It's ever against everything I believe in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm glad you said though that um you know the 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 Tim Pool, the the reactionary, oh I got canceled, so fuck all these people root is is not in your heart. Um because I think it's important to 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 state that and, and let people know. And I mean I feel the same way. No no amount of people accusing me of being a homophobe will prevent me from advocating for their equality you me know neither I mean? like but some people it sucks, it sucks to hear yeah it's uh, painful it's painful to hear but um i will fight just as hard for you as i did on sunday as i will today you know? of course of course me too but uh but it i see the path you know where you're like there's this group of people with open arms like one of us right you're one of Which, us. Again, it's because, yeah, I mean, I... I White I grievance, baby. Come get it. I don't think they ever felt as strongly uh, as they claim, as they may have once claimed to or whatever. Yeah, you know, like Tim Pool claimed, like, oh, they just, I, I, was, uh, I was a liberal uh, for years. But they, Dave they, Rubin. They've, they've driven, uh, Dave Rubin, too. Yeah, both of them. I used to be a liberal, and then people called me racist, and now I hate myself for being gay. <laughs> right. Bag of turd, you know, flaming turd bag. <laughs> But I'm just saying, white grievances, baby, it's all right here. Come ye straight white men. We take you with open arms. You are the real victim of society. Of course, I think that's absurd, right? But I'm just saying. 